This is Chet and Partook on BBC Three Counties Radio. Now, it comes to something when someone going for a meal at an Indian restaurant makes the news. But that is exactly what happened when Tom Cruise, no less, went for a curry in St Albans. The Hollywood star, back in August, surprised staff and diners alike at the Veer Dara restaurant. And now that visit to that restaurant in St Albans is being made into a film which is being shown at the city's first film festival. Very honoured tonight to be joined by someone who's met Tom Cruise, Darshit Orai, the manager of the Viadara restaurant. Um, Darshit, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me in your show. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. How much of a difference has Tom Cruise's visit then made to, to business? Well, uh, big difference, to be honest. Uh, he came mm. back in August, and, you know, business really in hospitality industry picks up from September onwards because it, it's, towards the, it's towards the Christmas. And uh, for us, when he came, it was 22nd of August. And thereafter, once uh, coming on all the news uh, publications and everything, uh, I think uh, it's one of the best uh, season, I would say, for the Christmas overall since the last four years for us. So, Did he book in advance, though, Shit, or did he, did he just, was it a surprise visit? No, I mean, it was a completely surprise visit. Uh, he booked just about an hour before his visit, so right. uh, I mean, it was a basically just a random uh, booking. And what was what was he like when you spoke to him? Uh, on that particular day, he was here with his family, and uh, right. himself, uh, he was very calm. He was quite polite, and uh, he was a bit more quieter than all uh, his basically family members. So yeah, I mean, uh, as a gentle guy, you know, is he? Everyone asks me how he was and everything. Just for a usual mm. guy, I'm, unless you know he's Tom Cruise, no one knows he's Tom Cruise. I mean, there were other diners at the restaurant. No one could even make it out that he was basically dining at the restaurant. So was it dark sunglasses? Did he have a hat on and stuff? <laughs> no, 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 no. He was just in a jacket, just in a very relaxed mood, and that's all about it. And did he know his paneer from his poppadoms? Uh, what he knew for uh, Indian restaurant was chicken tikka masala. And, right. Uh, at that particular restaurant, he wanted to have a lobster. So that's uh, two particular dishes that uh, he wanted to have in his table. And uh, other groups, other members of the family just ordered what they wanted to have. Although I know it's St. Albans, which is pretty posh anyway. So, but how many lobsters do you do in a week? I mean, that, was that a bit of a kind of surprise order for the chef? Uh, I'll tell you a, a quite a relative story about that. I mean, to be honest, we haven't sold as many lobsters in three years as we did no. in just a month after his visit. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that, that just compares <laughs> the number of lobsters that there was a hype in sale just by lobsters because lobster is a quite an expensive dish on our menu. It's just about 30 pounds and it's just for a main course. And we sold about you know, uh, if, every day we were selling about four or five lobsters, which we usually <laughs> just do maybe a couple of them in a week. Because we, we're not, I mean, when you go to an Indian restaurant, you want to have something which is, you know, proper, authentic Indian. And lobster, people yeah. can't imagine how authentic it can be as well. So, uh, but yes, since then we have sold quite a few lobsters. So, shit, back in the, in the day, I was a student waiter and my god how much would i've loved to have been serving that table the all important question was he a good tipper uh definitely yes to be honest uh when 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 it initially he there was a problem in paying and this came out to be a big news in itself that he couldn't settle his bill he did settle his bill uh he settles his bill what very generously with his card? yes we didn't accept the american express back then and uh, he ultimately paid cash and uh, his bill was about 220 pounds and he gave a generous strip of 80 pounds and he settled his bill for 300 quid. Oh wow, that's, that's pretty good going. I was going to say because you might have had to get him in washing the dishes or something which probably wouldn't have gone down well. You know, um, having such people, having such customers, you, it's, it's very tricky at the end of the day. You don't want to, you know, uh, just make the food complimentary or the whole meal complimentary because uh, mm. it was not us who invited him to come into a restaurant, it was himself. And uh, you don't want to do something like as a favor to such big uh, celebrities uh, at the end of the day. So if he didn't had uh, any other card or if he wouldn't have had uh, cash on him, definitely the meal would have been complimentary because he wanted to pay and uh, he asked for the bill. So we just did that. 
And this visit now, which is being made into a film at St Albans' first film festival, uh, do you remember his visit being, being recorded at the time? Uh, visit wasn't recorded. Uh, it okay. was, I mean, basically, there was just an image which was basically from CCTV which was, uh, right. that's, that's about it. I mean, I still have the footage of him dining at the restaurant, but uh, there's nothing other than that. So the film which has been uh, filmed for this festival is just like a fan uh, filming it uh, and showing her right. love towards Tom Cruise. And are you, are you making that film at all yourself? Are you in it, though, Well, it's not myself in the film. Uh, I was there on the day. They came up on a Saturday. They wanted to film... And uh, it's it's a beautiful small clip. It's about five minutes, and uh, it's a song which is uh, dedicated to Tom Cruise's visit here in St Albans. And uh, it's uh, Daria, who's basically the singer herself, and a few friends of hers. Right. And uh, basically, I think it's more when you see the video. Actually, it's not. It's a bit hard to explain. Cool. Oh, we've. Okay, I thought we'd lost you for a second. Though. We'll leave it there. I know the line is playing up a little bit tonight. Thank you so much for your time, though. No problem, Stoll. Absolutely. Unless pleasure. there are any other A listers, let us know, won't you? Definitely. You'll be the first one at BBC. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doshit Ora, the manager of the Viadara restaurant in St Albans, who back in August was serving Tom Cruise, no less. And that visit is now being made into. Thanks very much, Doshit.